Good morning, I'm Sue Resig, and this morning we're gonna work on breakfast. And the first thing in a Gerson breakfast that we're to have is oatmeal. And an oatmeal is a very personal thing because everybody likes it their own way. Some people like it a little chewy, some people like it softer like a porridge. You will very quickly find out how you like your oatmeal because we have it every day. This is how I'm starting out. It's sort of a heaping half cup of oatmeal and a cup and a half of water. And you're gonna want a pot small enough to cook it well, but large enough that it doesn't boil over and you'll soon find out which pot's the best pot for you too. Now what adjusts the way your oatmeal comes out is how much water you add to it. And again, that's gonna be very subjective as to how um, how you like your results. More water will make for a softer oatmeal. Also what makes a difference is if you add dried fruit to your oatmeal because the dried fruit's gonna absorb some of the moisture. I like to add a little raisin to mine. Some people like to put the fruit on, like if you're using fresh fruit, you can put that on after it's cooked. You can also put on uh, dried fruits that's been soaked. If you take, uh, say, some raisins or some dried apricots, and you've uh, poured a little boiling water over them and let them sit, they will kind of reconstitute and plump up, become a little bit stewed, and they're nice. But that's something you would have had to have done yesterday. So you could keep some of those in the refrigerator and just scoop them out when you want them. Uh, so those are already done. But in this case, because I'm adding the dried fruit to the oatmeal while it's cooking, I know it's going to absorb some of that water that's in there. And I'm just putting in a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. There you go. And that'll be nice. They'll be nice and soft when it's done cooking. So what I'm doing now is going to bring this to a boil, and then I'll put the lid on and turn it down quite low. Uh, oatmeal likes to boil over. And uh, having a big enough pot makes a big difference. It's a lot like uh, making our coffee concentrate. You have to have enough room for it to boil. But it's kind of no nonsense, which is great, because once it gets going, you're done with it. You don't have to keep babysitting it. So do you want to take a look in there and see what it looks like before it gets boiling? Yep, that's it. You can see it's kind of sloopy. So we're just, I'm not going to put the lid on until it boils, because if I put it on first, and then it comes to a boil, it boils over, and we don't want that. And this is old-fashioned oats that I'm using. You can also use steel-cut oats, but you don't want instant oats or the quick oats. Um, they've been uh, processed enough that they don't have as many good qualities to them. And the reason, there's several reasons why oatmeal is recommended uh, in Gerson, and it's, it's all for health reasons. Um, oatmeal, uh, because of the kind of fiber that's in it, it's a soluble fiber. That actually helps uh, your your bile your bile to flow better because uh, your body needs to draw bile to uh, process that fiber. Bile um, is made up of cholesterol, so your body will use cholesterol to make the bile to digest the oatmeal. So that's a good thing. We, we want to get rid of excess cholesterol. The other thing is, is that um, the bile will be carrying with it toxins. So it also helps your body get rid of toxins when you eat oatmeal because of the digestive process. And the fiber is also good for the digestive tract because this, uh, uh, not the, shoot, I just forgot. <laughs> The non-soluble fiber, as it passes through the digestive tract, absorbs toxins on its way out as well. So there's a lot of good qualities to having the oatmeal. Ooh, starting to get getting closer, and uh, and that's that's all good. Now, if you have diabetes or you're prone to sugar problems, they don't recommend oatmeal to start out with. Uh, instead, you would have more Hippocrates soup or you can have a potato, or you can have vegetables. Uh, they just don't recommend the oatmeal and fruit to start out with if you're diabetic. Um, 
in addition to having oatmeal for breakfast, you would have your uh, fresh squeezed orange juice. And if you have uh, joint issues, arthritic conditions, anything having to do with collagen issues, you don't want citrus fruit. So you would not be having the orange juice either. You would instead have another carrot juice in that case. All right, you're starting to boil. That looks good. It's getting there. I was thinking about it, but that's it's very close. See, it's starting to come around the edges. I'm gonna let it get going a little bit more and then I'll put the lid on. So you would have your oatmeal, your juice, and some fruit. In this case, I'm using my dried fruit in the oatmeal as my fruit. You could top it with some more fresh fruit if you wanted, if you wanted to put uh, sliced apple or um, cherries or grapes or, you know, just whatever fruit that we can eat, you can put on there. No berries. Remember, we don't have any berries in Gerson. There we go. That's looking nice. And I'm going to turn it down. And I'm going to set my timer for five minutes and see how it looks. That's another thing that will affect the texture of your oatmeal is your timing. And you will soon find out if you like it at four or five, six, seven minutes in addition to the amount of water. So I'll see you in a few minutes when it's done, okay? Our timer just went off. I will take a peek. Ooh, that looks good. And I'll tell you, I checked it at five minutes and it wasn't quite where I wanted it. So I gave it another minute. And that's nice. That's a nice thickness just like that. Look at that. And you could always cook it down a little bit more. You could use a little less water if you like. But this this turned out good. And I'm going to let you in on something. This isn't my oatmeal this morning. This is my husband's. Um, I'm not having oatmeal today. And I'll show you what I am going to have for breakfast. But this is going to make him happy. And it makes me happy to give it to him because I know it's healthy. So there's, there's oatmeal for my husband. And this is what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I've made myself some vegetable soup, and it has red cabbage and tomatoes and carrot and onion and garlic and celery and potato all together. And that's going to be that's going to be my fiber this morning that I have. I my tummy just doesn't always do well with oatmeal. Uh, that's one of the things in Gerson I've had a hard time healing is the digestive tract. I don't know why. It's just a little bit resistant in oatmeal doesn't always sit well with me. So I do better if I have a vegetable soup. So that's what I'm having this morning for breakfast while my husband has the oatmeal we just fixed. So thank you. I hope that's been helpful to you for some breakfast ideas. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. And this is another way that you could make oatmeal that I found worked for me when I was working. Uh, is because the day being what it is, uh, I have a very short lunch break where I work and I needed to eat quickly. And I found that having my oatmeal for lunch actually worked better for me because I had more time at home to have more of a meal and less time at work. So in order to take my oatmeal and have it good at lunchtime, I would add the boiling water to my thermos along with the oats. So I put my half a cup of oats in, a cup and a half, or in this case, um, you know what? I used only a cup and a quarter of hot water because if I used a cup and a half, it doesn't evaporate out with the lid and it was too, too sloppy. So a cup and a quarter of boiling water, half a cup of oats, screw the lid on tight. Oh, my raisins, screw the lid on tight. And then at lunchtime, it had cooked all by itself in the thermos. So, and it was just perfect, just the way I like it. So, that's another great way to do it, oatmeal, if you want to do that at home, too. I don't know, I don't know how long it takes, like if you'd have to wait an hour for it to turn itself into oatmeal. I don't know. I just know that several hours later, it was still hot and it was really good. But that's a kind of nifty little trick, is to make it in your thermos, especially if you have to travel. Like, say you had a car trip, you could do this and before you leave the house and have it in the car with you for later. Um... That's, that's just another little tip, you can do it.